Welcome to Oak Knob Chainsaws. Hello. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to map our ports, measure them for surface area uh, in millimeters. We're going to compare the OEM and the aftermarket cylinders. We're also going to measure and check the squish between the two cylinders and compare those. Stay tuned. Oh, and we're also going to measure the length of the ports from inside the cylinder to the outside. So, We've got, got one full for you today. Hope you enjoy. All right, let's get started on this squish comparison for the aftermarket OEM cylinders. This is the aftermarket cylinder. See how new, nice, and clean it is? This is the OEM cylinder. All right, what you're going to do is take some of this soldering wire, very soft. You're going to stick it in here until it's back. You want it back over here where the squish band's at. All right, you're gonna rotate the piston up and it's gonna smash it down. You're gonna feel it come over. Go on over another time or two. Make sure that thing is accurately squished. All right, you pull it out and you look at it you're gonna see there is a definitive flat spot on it. So when you take your handy calipers, zero them out, we're gonna measure This is reading 36 thousandths. And since these are some China calipers, I double check with this American made Sterrett micrometer that I had during my millwright days. Spent seven years as a precision millwright. That's where I learned to work in thousandths we worked in ten thousandths with our lasers doing alignments micrometers reading 36 what do you know Thirty six. First marks 25 plus 11 so 36 thousandths for the aftermarket cylinder. What we're gonna do is pull this thing off real quick. Like a chainsaw pit stop. You know about that? I don't know about that. I don't know why you would, I don't know. It's good to, I don't like to waste time doing things. But what I really hate is looking for stuff. When I was doing millwright work, I once heard a statistic that a mechanic will spend 40% of his day looking for some, like, tools, things. And I despise that. So, I like to be organized. Plus, my days in the Army, we, uh, we stay pretty organized. It becomes a culture. Now, my girlfriend might not agree as far as uh, maybe things inside the house. I'm especially bad about laying uh, clothes down because you know, as a mechanic, I like to get a couple days out of stuff. I don't like to wear it once and be done with it. So sometimes I don't lay them in the right spot. I don't think, or she says I don't, but she's great. She puts up with me. All right, OEM is on and snug. So what you do is take this piece of wire and you're gonna cut the squished part off. You're gonna save it as a memento for when you build your awesome salt. No, I'm just kidding, it, it's whatever. Like Maybe all that stuff together, I could melt it down and repurpose it for something. I don't know. Same thing with the uh, OEM, we're on the OEM now. We're gonna squish it. Oh, that one. 
That one felt a little harder. I bet this one's a little lower. Just my guess. I haven't checked these yet. So you guys are learning with me. I don't know. We'll zero the caliper. Hmm. Reading 36. 36 and a half. Double check with Mr. Samuel Sterrett. I don't know what the founder's name was. Getting about 36 and a half. So where's the line? There we go. All right, so there's our squishes. They will be documented. Now, what I'm going to do is pull this cylinder off. And I'm going to show you guys how to map the area of the intake and the exhaust. Because I'm curious and I want to compare them. And this is all my first time doing this stuff, but I'm going to use a little bit of geometry. We're going to take y'all back to ninth grade or up to ninth grade if you're in middle school. Which, if you're in middle school and you're porting chainsaws, you have a pretty bright future. I have to say that. All right, I'm going to get everything set up and we'll come back to real time to map these out. All right, now it's time to find our port surface area. To do so, you're gonna need pieces of paper that are about the height of the cylinder. I'll show you here. You're gonna need some paper. You're gonna need some plastic bags. What you're gonna do is roll the paper up. Pretty simple, right? Make sure that your seam is in a transfer to the side. All right, because you want solid faces here and here. Once you have that done, then take one of these plastic bags ball it up. Stick it inside. All right, you're gonna use something fine like this. Trace your port. A colored pencil would also work. Anything that you can sharpen down to a super fine tip. All right, there's the intake. So we're gonna put I. Here's the exhaust. It doesn't matter if you get a little, you just want the outsides to be distinguishable. Once you have the intake and the exhaust done, you're gonna pull your paper out. All right, there's the inside of our ports. Now we have to have the outside of the ports. So put this over the outside. Hmm. 
There's our intake. There's our exhaust. Okay. Now is where the geometry comes in. The formula for this is area equals pi a b all right now one of these ports i'm gonna stick one here so i can show you one of these ports imagine an intersection All right, this axis right here, this is the semi-minor axis, will be labeled as A. This will be labeled as B, which is half of the total width. All right? Now, whenever we go to do this, we will end up taking half of the total value. So, we'll measure it, and I'll show you all here in just a second how to do this formula. Hey, I had to go grab my calculator to show you guys how we're gonna do this math here. All right, this is the major axis. This is the minor axis. Half of the semi-major axis is A. Half of the the uh, major axis is B, so it's called the semi-major over here. All right, you're gonna take half of half. So you can measure the entire length of the port and divide it by four, and that's gonna give us the number that we need. So we'll start right here. Turn this on. Call it 22 and a half. Five point six two is our major axis length. Well, not the overall length, but the number we need. We're going to call this one 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we're at 2 here. Now, we will take 562 Multiply by the two, multi and then that will get multiplied by pi. 35.3 is 35 millimeters is the surface area. Of this port. Okay, so now you know how to get the surface area of the ports. I'm not going to bore y'all by showing you all the math on all eight of these ports. I'm going to go ahead and get it put together, put it on a, a form of data that I can put up on the screen that you guys will be able to see and check out. Now that we've established how to find port area, we want to find port length. And that is from here to the inside of the cylinder. Now, what you're going to want to use for this are your calipers. 
You're gonna turn them on, zero them. You're gonna be using this end right here. You're gonna put this against that, just like that, across that flat edge. All right, then you can even hold them like this so that you can see what you're gonna be doing. All right, once that is there, you're gonna start rolling the end of this thing. See how it comes out? Roll it and look inside. You're gonna to wanna to use your finger and tell when it's flush. All right, now when that is there, this is flush across the top, flush there, take a reading. And that will tell you how long your port is from the tip to the end. Zero. Flush. Or you can hold this against that and take a straight edge and stick it down that cylinder wall to when it hits the end. That's what I typically like to do, but straight edge and then bring it all the way down to where it touch and butts. But in order to do that, I have to lay it down. And I don't think I could, we can try it here. Yep. All right. So those are the numbers that we need in order to uh, be able to tell these cylinders apart. We'll have our port links, our areas, and then we have our squish. Well, here you have it. These are the final numbers that we gathered today. Our information and investigative research shows that the aftermarket and OEM cylinders are not the same on the port sizes. Uh, the OEM, as you can see on the exhaust on the inside of the port, is about five millimeters larger. Um, I'm going to be getting the Huri aftermarket cylinders it'll be in the mail in a couple days and that's what i'm going to be using for most of the build so i'll be taking these numbers again this here is just a rough estimate so in today's video we learned how to map the surface area of the ports uh, to measure our squish and to measure the lengths of the ports we were able to compare the oem with the aftermarket and remember if you liked what you saw in the video today, you hit the hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. See y'all in the next one. See y'all. Elk Knob Chainsaws over and out. <laughs>